Leo, this new moon in Aries is hitting your ninth house of beliefs, higher knowledge, what you know. Okay, spirituality, um, expanding your horizons, engaging in long distance trouble might touch upon areas of your life having to do with the higher education system, um, publishing, travel. Let's see what the tarot is recommending here. And I see one leaning forward. This is six of air moving on. Okay, so some of you, again, I'm seeing a lot of travel themes. And again, if this is not literal travel, this is you moving on maybe from some beliefs that I just heard unrest that maybe were a source of unrest in your past. You're moving on to calmer waters of beliefs that bring you to more uh, um, of emotional equilibrium is what I'm hearing. Seven of earth, what are you investing in? You need to move towards something that is worth investing in. And it's interesting. I just did um, the cancer reading. It's a similar message of what's sustainable. Okay. Looking at the long term, where do you want to be? And, you know, investing yourself in what is your end game, right? Not, not just looking at the here and now, which is inner, Aries energy, but... <laughs> Where where do you want to invest in the here and now to get you where you want to be over the long term in, in hopefully calmer waters? Some of you are gonna have you're gonna to have to come into a new set of beliefs though in order to leave something behind, embrace something new in terms of maybe no longer investing in something that really didn't get you to where you want to go in life. You're gonna to have to shift your beliefs into what does get you there. Okay. Some of you, it's not this necessarily that you are leaving behind a belief, but a belief is evolving and you're coming into a fullness of understanding about something that maybe before you just had a, a facet of the truth, but not the whole truth. So something is really um, flourishing here. Okay. Let's see what the advice is for Leo. Leo. Coming apart. There might be something here with mirroring going on in your relationships or people around you um, looking at self versus other dynamics and um, you're beginning to kind of I'm getting a lot about the mind, the beliefs, and and it might be that um, people around you and your relationships are causing you to look within yourself about I'm hearing something about unraveling, okay, beliefs unraveling or um, confronting beliefs within yourself wizard of awareness well there we go you know i think some of you are becoming a lot more self-aware and it's through these relationships where you're seeing maybe aspects of yourself or others that you had not previously entertained before and realizing you know i've got to make some different investments in my life and i've got to leave things behind that are not paying off so i can move towards what is 